Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. All cell contents use the same formatting by default, which can make it difficult to read a workbook with a lot of information. Now, basic formatting can customize the look and feel of your workbook, allowing you to draw attention to specific sections and making your document or your content easier to view and understand. Now, let's first look at how to change the font size. First, select the cells that you want to modify. So, I'll select this. Then click on this drop down arrow next to the font size command then select the font size you want to work with. So I'll select 18, yeah. And that's the text will change to the selected font size. Now you can also change the font again, just select the cells that you want to modify. So I'll still select this one. Uh, I'll reduce the font size a little bit. Better then come to the font command, click this drop down arrow from here, and select the font that I want to use. I'll select that, and the text will change to the selected font. You can also change the font color again, select the cells you want to modify like that. Then on the home tab, click the drop down arrow next to the font color command. Then choose a desired font color i'll go for this one purple yes click on it and the text will change to the selected font color now you can also use the bold italics and underline commands just again select the cells that you want to modify like i've selected these then click on the bold command if you want to make it bold italics if you want to italicize it and underline commands if you want to underline your text and the selected style will be applied to the text now you can also add cell borders and fill colors now cell borders and fill colors allow you to create clear and defined boundaries for different sections of your worksheet now uh, let's look at how to add a fill color first so again select the cells that you want to add a fill color then on the home tab click the drop down arrow next to the fill command then select the fill color you want to work with. I'll select this one. And as you can see, the selected fill color will appear in the selected cells. To add a border again, just select the cells that you want to modify. Then on the home tab, click the drop down arrow on borders command. So this is the borders command. Click the drop down arrow, then select the command you want. So I'll set mine to all borders and as you can see it will show all borders in those cells. So that's how you add a border. Now instead of formatting cells manually you can use Excel's pre-designed cell styles. Now cell styles are a quick way to include professional formatting for different parts of the workbook such as titles and headers. So let's apply a cell style. I'll work with row number three. So just select the cells you want to modify. So I'll assume this is my header. Then click the cell style, the cell styles command under home tab. So I'll click this. And from here, select the cell style you want to work with. Now there are multiple of them. There's heading one. You know, you can choose whichever you want. Then click on it to apply it. Now, as you can see, row number one has been formatted, but I can still select it. Click on the cell style command, then change the cell styles from here. Okay, so I'll go with that one. Click on it, and the cell style will appear like that. Now, you can also change the alignment of your cell content. And this allows you to choose, uh, Excel allows you to choose how your content is displayed in any cell, which can make your cell content easier to read. Now, to change horizontal text alignment, to change, uh, in my example, I'll use the first row still. So select the cells that you want to modify. Now we're going to change the horizontal text alignment. Then from the home tab, select one of the three horizontal alignment commands. So we have uh, align left, 
center and align right. So if I click on align right, all the text will be aligned to the right. So that's how you apply horizontal text alignment. That's how you change the horizontal text alignment. Now let's look at how to change vertical text alignment. Again, select the text that you want to modify. So I'll select this again. Then from the home tab, select one of the three vertical alignment commands. So here we have the top align, the middle align, and the bottom align. So I'll select bottom align, and as you can see, the text will realign. And you can apply both vertical and horizontal alignment settings to any cell. Then lastly, we have the format, format painter command over here. Now, if you want to copy formatting from one cell to another, you can use the format, format painter command on the home tab. And when you click the format painter, it will copy all the formatting from the selected cell. Then you can click and drag over any cell you want to paste the formatting to. So let's say I want to apply this formatting that's on row three to the rest of this uh, worksheet. So what I do is I'll select this, then click on the format painter command. Now then come and drag over where I want to use to paste that format, then release it. And as you can see, I've copied and pasted that format using the format painter command.